Aloha, beautiful souls. We are definitely in the midst of the holiday season, having just finished Thanksgiving. And at this time of year, a big issue that comes up for us all is food. We're so often surrounded by sweets and treats and things that are not necessarily made with ingredients that are for our highest good. They're often made with things that can give us a feeling of heaviness or sluggishness. And I'll admit, even as a very health-conscious vegan, on Thanksgiving Day, I ate four raw vegan desserts. <laughs> Probably a little too much, and my body let me know it too. But what a gift our body is. Our body communicates so clearly to us. When we overeat, it expresses that to us, and we start to feel heavy and sluggish. When we eat something that isn't for our highest good, then we tend to get sick or feel upset in some way or another. So what a gift our body is with all its signals it gives us. Well today, since we are going to be surrounded, many of us are going to be surrounded by foods which are not necessarily for our highest good over the course of the next month, I'd like to share a little meditation with you to help you reprogram your cravings so that you start to choose, even in the face of temptation, you choose things which are for your highest good, foods which help you achieve your life purpose, foods that help you feel uplifted and vibrant, rather than things that weigh you down and cause heaviness. I also want to encourage you that as one who has been on a health quest for many, many years, our taste buds can completely, completely change. Things that I would have craved as a child which were not for my good, such as donuts or store-bought cookies, hold zero desire for me anymore. And we definitely can reprogram our taste buds. But I want to give you a little jump start to that with today's meditation. So without further ado, find yourself in a comfortable meditative posture, either on the floor, a piece of furniture, it doesn't matter. Once you are comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Beautiful. Now I want you to think about a craving, a food craving of some sort that you don't feel is for your highest good. But it seems to have some sort of power over And I want you to breathe into the feeling you have when tempted with this craving. What does that feel like? Take a nice deep breath, really settling into that feeling. Now I want you to tune into what the need may be underlying that feeling. What are your deep true needs deep beneath the surface of that craving. All right. The first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to picture yourself with your eyes closed, surrounded by pure universal love and light. And as you inhale, with your breath, I want you to draw in some of that pure, bright, universal light into your body and surround that craving with the light. And as you exhale, I want you to picture that craving moving with the light down your spine and going all the way deep into the earth, down into the magma below. Continue breathing normally as you picture that craving being burned up by the earth's fire, the heat deep within the earth. Let's do that again, one more time. Inhale that pure universal love and light surrounding you into your body, surrounding that craving. And as you exhale, the last remnants of that craving move with the light and the breath down the spine and plug all the way deep down into the earth, down into the magma, where it is transformed by the heat below.
Beautiful. Now, let's think about those underlying needs, the needs underlying that craving. Let's take a nice deep breath in, drawing that universal love and light into the body, surrounding that need. And as we exhale, the light helps you to think of ways to meet that need. Inhale again, drawing universal love and light into your body, surrounding the need, underlying the craving. And as you exhale, the light continues to just help you and draw to you all resources that you need to meet that deep need. And I'm going to speak energetically, directly to your desires now. So with your eyes closed, simply receive. You can even place your hands, palms up on your knees in a state of reception. I speak directly to any and all cravings within you now. Cravings are there as a sign that we need to address something. May you now have universal wisdom and support and love and light and clarity on your side fully so that you know how to meet and address all needs underlying your cravings. From this point forward, instead of going directly to the craving which is not for your highest good, you are now instantly drawn to think about what is a high vibrational way to meet the underlying needs. And you now are strengthened and bolstered with universal love and light. And your approach and your response to cravings now shifts entirely. So much so that now your taste buds are being reprogrammed as I speak. So that you crave foods which are for your highest vibrational good. Bringing you joy, fulfillment, and a lightness. An ability to move through life with ease and agility. Programming, taste buds, everything is changed. Old stories are rewritten. And you are going to have the most beautiful, high vibrational holiday season, making choices that are for your body's highest good and your spirit's highest good. Let's just take one more nice deep inhale of that universal love and light into your body, filling every fiber of your being. And as you exhale, you emanate and radiate pure universal love and light. Taste buds have been reprogrammed. Cravings are shifting. As a craving comes up, you now know how to address the underlying needs. With the warmest of love and aloha to all of you, until next time. Don't forget to check out my website, www.shekholistic.com, for more information on soul coaching, soul path readings, and high vibrational living.